Hello everyone, welcome back with me Krishna again in this channel. Channel that always gives you the information about places in Bali with the update situation. How are you today? I hope you're doing good, stay safe and healthy wherever you are. Okay, this time I'm back in Sanor. Since I'm passing by, I would like to update you the situations around here. Especially along this Danau Toba street. And also let's see what is happening at Jalan Danau Tumbling and Dice. And by the way, I would like to see a few hotels as well for today based on your request. So don't go anywhere and let's watch until the end of this video. Okay, back to the street. This is the situation. Few shops are open here on the left side. And here if you go to the left, you will go to Sindu Beach. It's one of the famous beach in Sanur. It's white sand and they have few cafes or restaurants along the beach where you can enjoy your time, enjoy your food, drinks. Meanwhile, enjoy the view of the beach guys. And here in front of us, if you go to the right by evening time, there will be Sanur Night Market where you can try a lot of Indonesian food such as chicken satay, bakso, bubur ayam, lumpia, and etc. Have you tried Indonesian food before in Bali? Okay, back to the street. This is the situation at Danau Toba Street and we are entering Jalan Danau Tumbling and guys. As you can see, a lot of shops, they are remaining closed unfortunately. And I don't think they will be open for today because it is late afternoon, around 3 o'clock. So I don't think they will be open for today. But let's hope they will be open soon in the future, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Because they have been closed quite a long time during this pandemic. Let's hope things will get better soon. We have more tourists to come to Bali so that it will help our Bali economy and everyone can come back to work again guys. Okay, in this area is nothing much is happening. And here on the left side, there are a few hotels like Raspati Hotel and they are open, it's a nice hotel. Here next to it is Art Hotel, unfortunately they are remaining closed. They have been closed very long time already during this pandemic. It's really sad because it's a nice place to visit. They have pool by the beach, they have kind of like restaurants where you can enjoy your lunch, meanwhile swimming and also enjoy the view of the beach guys. By the way, I would like to share with you regarding the PCR test now for coming to Bali. Anyway, I picked up someone from airport this morning. They flew from Singapore to Bali. Based on their experience, they paid for PCR test 275,000 for one test. And then you will have another test which is the third day from your hotel guys. So from airport, you can book your own driver. But you cannot go anywhere, you need to go directly from airport to your hotel, meanwhile waiting for your PCR test come up. And if it's negative, you can go out from your hotel, enjoy the places in Bali. But the rest is remaining the same, you need to have PCR test before you're taking flights to Bali. You need to fully vaccinated so that you will have no quarantine and bring the hard copy. And visa on arrival, still you need to pay 500,000 rupees. And here on the left side is the Lagawa Hotel. Unfortunately, this hotel is still closed because last time I came here and visited this hotel, they were closed. It's a nice hotel actually, hopefully they will be open soon in the future. Because I do believe that some of you maybe like to stay at that hotel when you visit Bali again. Okay, let's turn to the right here because I have a request to visit 
swastika bungalows. So the signs say we need to go here. And this is swastika bungalows. They have big parking area. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to enter because they need to ask permission from the owner. Unfortunately, there is no response yet from the owner. So let's see the other hotel, which is Klumpu Hotel or Villas. But before we reach that hotel or villa, let's see what is happening along this street, guys. On the right side is the Dapur restaurant and they are open but unfortunately no one here yet. And here on the left side is the famous Watu Jimbar Cafe. Some of you asked me about this Watu Jimbar Cafe. They are open and they have few people there. I think they are doing quite okay because most of the time I pass by in this street I see some people there. And here on the right side is a nice cafe, I think it's PHL. Anybody been to this cafe? Maybe you can share your experience in our comment section. And here on the left side, maybe most of you know this is Maya Resort Sanur. It's nice resort facing to the beach. I think we are getting closer to Lumpo Villa and I can see the sign here. Let's keep driving and see how is this Lumpo Villa guys. But you need to be careful when you drive around here because as you can see the road is very small and it's not really smooth. And by the way, I would like to say thank you very much for those of you that are always supporting and subscribing this channel. I really appreciate that. If you just found this channel, please guys, I do really need your support to subscribe because once subscribed from you, it's really important to grow this channel. And of course, you will receive a lot of updates about many places in Bali with the latest situations. Okay, we are arriving at Klumpu Villa. As you can see in the front, it's a nice gate. I'll park my scooter and let's see what is happening in this Klumpu Villa. Here there are a lot of bicycles. I think if you stay at this villa, you can use this bike to go around in Sanor. They have very nice garden, I think. And this is the reception. And here they have the restaurant as well. I think where you can have your breakfast or maybe lunch and dinner. But for this time, they don't serve breakfast. I think they just rent their accommodation. And this place is for spa, I guess. And here is their main pool guys, very nice pool, very clean and a lot of sun beds by the pool. And here anybody know what fruit it is? Okay, let's continue. Here is the garden area and they have temple as well. And let's see their rooms. So this is their room guys. They have chairs and table in front of the room. And this is for the family, I think.
Yeah, they have sofa, bed, TV, tables, and etc. If you bring your children, they can sleep here as well. They have two small beds here. Anyway, you can remove this ladder as well so that it will not in the middle of your room. And here they have cupboard, small kitchen, dispenser, and etc. Okay, let's see their bathroom. So this is their bathroom. They have two waistafels, a lot of towels, shower, toilets, and etc. What do you think about this room, guys? I think it's nice, isn't it? Okay, they invite me to see their other room, so let's go and see it. Probably it's almost the same, but let's see. Here the same, they have table, chairs in front of the room, where you can sit and relax. I think this is for a couple. Only have one bed here. The rest are the same. They have small kitchen here, dispenser, stove, sink. Nice bed, table or sofa. I like the lights, guys. It's very nice. And this is their bathroom. It's almost the same as well. Two stuffles, toilet, shower, a lot of towels and etc. So, what do you think about this Klumpu Villa, guys? I think it's a nice place to stay during your visit in Sanor. And if you go to the beach, it's not really far as well. Maybe it's not really walkable, but still not really far. You can drive bicycle there. Okay, everyone, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.